A favorite among the foodies, is produced at numerous places all over the world and is available in many varieties. Owing to the availability of so many different varieties and forms, there is a selection of cheeses being used in global cuisines. While some forms are very popular, and are available the world over, the lesser known ones are endemic to particular regions of the world. Soft cheese, some of the most indulgent soft cheese kinds include, cottage cheese, feta cheese, ricotta cheese, and mascarpone cheese. Soft cheese is called so due to its soft texture, which occurs due to the fact that it does not undergo any kind of heating or pressing. It is primarily used as a spread on bread and crackers, and it is not usually used for cooking purposes, except on rare occasions. Semi-soft cheese some popular semi-soft cheese include, Gouda, Mozzarella, Hello Umi, and Asadero. Semi-soft cheese is not primarily a cooking cheese, but it may be used for that purpose, especially if it is found to be heat tolerant and makes a fantastic ingredient for desserts and snacks. One of the special characteristics of semi-soft cheese is that it can be frozen in the refrigerator and then thawed for later use. This does not really have any effect on its flavor. Semi-hard cheese, famous names of semi-hard cheese include, Gloucester, Cheddar, and K. Erthily. Semi-hard cheese also known as semi-firm cheese, is pressed during production to remove the moisture content. While semi-hard cheese can be used for cooking, it is also very good for sandwiches and snacks. This type of cheese tends to become harder with age, and also grows a little pungent. But it lasts longer than the softer ones if refrigerated, Hard cheese, some of the tastiest hard cheeses include, Parmesan, Pecorino, Mimolette, and Romano. Hard cheese contains even lesser water than semi-hard cheese, which is why it is pressed more, and thus becomes hard. Hard cheese has a longer shelf life than any other form of cheese, it can last for about two years in a refrigerated state. With time, it becomes harder and stronger in flavor. Blue cheese, varieties of blue cheese include, Roquefort, Gorgonzola, Stilton, and French Blue Dejex. Blue cheese is a special kind of cheese, in which the fungus Penicillium or other kinds of bacteria are injected and encouraged to grow so that the end product contains blue, green, or bluish-gray spots or veins. As unlikely as it looks, blue cheese can be used for cooking and even eaten as it is. It has a very strong and salty flavor because of the organisms that are allowed to grow inside it. Processed cheese, processed cheese, perhaps has the highest demand among all kinds of cheeses and are the most popular across the world. It is, however, not pure cheese. It is sometimes a combination of two or more kinds of cheese, unfermented dairy products, emulsifiers, colors, flavors, and extra salt. Processed cheese serves both cooking as well as eating purposes, and at times, seems to be a tastier substitute for other kinds of cheeses. It has a very long shelf life. Although cheese is one of the favorite foods in many nations of the world, there are also regions where its use is restricted or prohibited. For instance, cheeses with animal-based rennet are rarely found in regions with Muslim and Jew majorities, owing to their kosher laws. Even at places where cheese is a traditional ingredient, there are people to render pungent-smelling cheese as uneatable. 
Nevertheless, nobody can deny the fact that cheese has traveled a long way, and is one of the few food items that has managed to capture the taste buds of people all over the world for ages together.